Government is not looking to declare a ceasefire with communist rebels despite the possibility of the resumption of peace talks. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana says they will honor a truce if Communist Party founder Joma Sison joins the peace negotiations. Patricia Mangunia with a story. President Duterte orders the military to crush terrorist groups, including the New People's Army, this Yuletide season. Itong mga terorista kasali na ang NPA, kasali na ang mga kidnap or ransom nandyan sa hulo, ang abusayap at lahat na, at ang utos ko sa kanila. At pag sila ay lubaban, durugin para matapos na ang problema ng Pilipino. We are fighting a war. The president unleashed this fresh tirade against the Reds, just as both sides are working to restart peace talks. Former chief negotiator and Labor Secretary Silvestre Bello III earlier confirmed that the government and the Communist Party of the Philippines have agreed to resume peace negotiations. But he did not go into details. The Armed Forces and the Defense Department also say that they won't declare a ceasefire with the Reds. DND Chief Delfin Lorenzana says they'll only honor any kind of truce once PPP founder Joma Sison joins the peace talks. Walang ceasefire, so tuloy yung ating operasyon sa kanila. Hanggang mag-umpisa siguro yung talks nila ni Presidente at saka ni Sison, tuloy-tuloy naman eh. Hindi naman din tumitigil yung mga NPA ng kaka-attack sa atin. We do not recommend the Alex ceasefire kasi logi tayo dyan eh. Alam nila kung sino yung sundalo natin, hindi naman natin alam kung sino sila, so kung anong ginagawa nila, nag-recover siya ng barangay at kung ano pang ginagawa nila doon, because we do not know them. Separately, National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon believes the NPA will only be using the peace talks to advance the communists' armed struggle. Maliwanag na yung peace talks gagamitin lang nila to support the armed struggle. Their agenda is politics, not, not peace. So different from our view, na pag sinabi nating peace talks, it is our way of addressing grievances and their difficulties. And later on also include DDR or demobilization, disarmament and reintegration. Despite this, Esperon says they're still supporting the president who earlier said he wanted to resume peace talks with the Reds. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.